The folks in my neighborhood were resolute about trying to protect our physical safety, but seemed confused when confronted with more subtle racial hazards, such as our fixation on color. I was a product of that confusion. My enchantment with whiteness dated at least as far back as Key West, where our family got our first television set. I'd spend hours in front of that black and white set, gazing spellbound at whites on TV, drinking in the beauty of their ivory skin, which seemed pure, cleaner than my own. I was no more than seven or eight years old, but I still recall the Clairol hair coloring commercial where they zoomed the camera in for a close-up on some saucy white broad who essentially tossed her blonde mane backward and forward all over her face. Near the end of the commercial, a throaty voice chimed in and asked, Is it true blondes have more fun? I thought of that ad every time I saw a blonde in real life or on TV. It also came to mind one day when I noticed a group of young whites riding down the street in a convertible ahead of our family car. The convertible's top was down and the white people's long hair fluttered in the wind, like the TV blondes. I thought... White people have more fun.